So I don't want to fully show the results yet of that Vigoro fertilizer. I want to give it about a week. I mean, it's not a full strength. It's not just a straight liquid iron. It's not a concentrate. It's a minimal 1% that's in that bottle. So it's not gonna pop the way that some of those other guys on YouTube can make their lawn pop. We don't get that in Canada. So I'm probably gonna give it about a week, seven days. I mean, it is greening up a little bit more, but I wanna show you what it can actually do for the Canadian homeowner is what my goal is. So in the meantime, I'm probably just gonna post a video about the water that I use, how I get it, and why I need to do it. And I hope you guys enjoy that. And if you got questions about it, let me know. Hey guys, what's up? Sorry about the sun. I'm just trying to get some sun, some shade. I'm fair skin, so I don't like the sun. I just want to show you some of the difficulties of maintaining a lawn in the middle of nowhere. So I got trees all around me. Pretty much just forest. And we are on a dug well, so I don't have an uh, unlimited supply of water. I can't just pay a few extra bucks a month and just water whatever I want. I gotta be selective. So these are what I use. These are my 250 gallon totes. I got four of them, which is quite a bit of water, you'd think, until you need more water. But I just wanted to show you guys this. They're all connected at the bottom, so they fill up equally, you know, as it rains or whatnot. And that's what I use. That's all I use. I do not use the house water for this. So if you don't know what a dug well is, it's just how it sounds. That's it. You dig it up, put some concrete tiles in, and the groundwater fills it up. It's not quite as quick as city water. So I guess some of you guys may have questions about how I actually put this together. It's not that difficult. Maybe some questions about why I really need to do it and if I need to do it. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments. I will get back to you. But like I said, it's pretty easy to do and I do need to do it for where I live. The basic thing is you see this pipe behind me. It just comes out of the eaves, goes down. This is just a little filtration it just gets all the crap off the roof it's called a first flush is what it's called but like i said if you got questions about this kind of stuff let me know in the comments and i'll get back to you or make another video if i think that it is a little bit more in-depth conversation about it so you'd think at that point i'd be done with you know the four jugs at the house that's not it i also got this guy because after it rains I pump the water out of those into this, and then with this is how I actually water the lawn. I got my little pump here, of course, covered up with a bag, but yeah, it's a little pump, and from here is where I feed it over the lawn. So I just wanted to show you guys that too. So more or less, I get about 1,800 gallons of water. If this one's full and those four are full and trust me unless it's spring or fall they're hardly ever full but that's one of the struggles about doing this and wait look at me i'm in the middle of the forest just do what you got to do So if you have any questions or comments about my setup, how I built it, how it works, if it's easy, leave them down below. I'll get back to you. It's not easy to do. Um, 
yeah so i hope you enjoyed the content i hope that you're getting some feedback out of what i'm trying to put out to you just trying to help out the general homeowner who wants to get a green lawn and it's just some of the issues that i have to deal with living out in the forest we'll see you next time